All right, Bruce, welcome back to the program. Great to have you. Uh, BYU, number 20 in the country, 3-1. and One, one of the surprises of uh, college football thus far this season. Obviously, the Wisconsin uh, win was a big one, but what's your evaluation of the BYU Cougars thus far? Yeah, I'd agree with you. I think they're one of the bigger, pleasant surprises of the season so far. I think Jeff Grimes has been a really good addition. I uh, knew him a little bit when he was the old line coach at LSU. He's obviously taken some of the Matt Canada stuff that he worked with last year and really kind of just tweaked it. And I think uh, it's been impressive. You know, the, the, that was a really good team they beat a couple of weeks ago, and now they got a big test here. And they're a physical team. It's kind of what we expect from BYU. And I really think uh, Kalani Sataki's opened up a lot of people's eyes right now. BYU taking on Washington. It's another top 15 team on the road. It's BYU's third Power 5 team on the road in September. So what do you think this game means for what BYU could do this season? I mean, I, I think when you have a schedule like they do and like they're going to keep having where you're going to have these big Power 5 opponents, um, it keeps them nationally relevant, and I think that's important. I'm not saying they need to win all of them, but I think it's important to be competitive and certainly – I think that, that Wisconsin game was huge. You have some momentum there. And now what do they do with it? You know, I, I think people aren't sure exactly what to make of them um, at this point. But it, yeah, I don't know if necessarily they need to win this game to, to, to show people that BYU is on the way back. But I think if they, if they do, uh, that would be a huge statement. That would be two wins as good as anybody else, especially these are tough places to play. They're winning, they would be winning these games. Yeah, it would be impressive for sure. Uh, and since BYU beat Wisconsin, I think Cougar fans think, hey, you know, BYU has a shot in, in almost any game they play at this point. But this matchup's a little different. Washington more dynamic and certainly in what they do. So how do you see this matchup uh, between BYU and the Washington Huskies? Well, I think you have two teams that like to be physical. I think what's going to be interesting is Washington's really – I think Washington's a better team on defense than what they saw a couple of weeks ago. They're more athletic. They're really good at the back end. Uh, so to me, it's like, will they be able to do as much damage? Will Washington turn the ball over and make some mistakes? I mean, I feel like right now Washington is underwhelmed in their games. They obviously didn't win the opener against Auburn. It was a tough game. They lost. And then they've had some games where I think they've struggled more with teams than people probably thought they would. Certainly Arizona state, I would put in that category. And so I think there's a lot of people, you know, myself included, who are curious to see what we're going to get from from Washington against a really physical opponent. We're talking with Bruce Feldman, Fox Sports sideline reporter, writer for The Athletic as well. It's interesting, Bruce, because you look at BYU's offensive numbers, and BYU has yet to go over 400 yards. They don't have eye-popping stats. They're in the bottom 30 in a lot of this stuff. Yet the defense has carried the Cougars. BYU's not turning it over. They're getting takeaways, solid special teams. This feels like Kalani Satake has taken that influence from Kyle Whittingham at Utah and turned that into what BYU has now this season. What do you think? And that's not a bad person to, to blueprint to follow. I mean, just from somebody having covered the Pac-12 a lot and seen Utah teams up close, and you know how physical and how impressive they are, I think that that's something that works. And I think it's honestly true to some of the players they have. When I talk to coaches who faced BYU this, this year, the biggest thing they talk about is how big, physical, and athletic the uh, those linebackers are. And so, you know, they're going to have a big test. Miles Gaskin's a good running back, so on a bet is dynamic, and I think that presents some problems for them. We'll see how well they hold up. I mean, the question is going to be, do, are, are they fast enough? I mean, I thought that was an, a team of Wisconsin that actually has underrated speed. Certainly Jonathan Taylor can really fly, but uh, they passed that test. So what's going to happen, uh, you know, again, now that the stakes are just a little bit higher. BYU's 3-1, they're number 20. Do you feel like BYU deserves to be the 20th best team in the country in the AP poll, in your opinion? No doubt. I mean, I... I whether they should be 17 or 22, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, that's splitting hairs. But they definitely deserve to be in the top 25. I mean, you look at – they beat Arizona, and people, like, look at that and go, oh, what did Arizona do or whatever. I mean, Arizona still has, has pretty good players. I mean, it's not like they beat an FCF team. And for them to beat Wisconsin, I mean, that to me is one of the five most impressive wins of the season so far. So – and it wasn't like they got you know blown out in their other games. So why shouldn't they be ranked? I mean, I think there's teams with – with less burden of proof in their win total than what BYU has right now. And BYU moved up five spots after beating an FCS team. It was a crazy weekend, uh, which brings me to this. Can anybody challenge Alabama this year? Who, who do you think are the uh, best nominees for that? 
I, somebody can. I mean, it's look, nobody's, you know, we're talking about 18, 19 year olds and they look great one week and they look shaky a month later. You know, I think certainly uh, Clemson could, Ohio State could, I think Georgia could. Who knows? They got to play at LSU. LSU has a really good defense. It'll probably be a night game. Uh, a lot happens when we see some turnovers, and Tua's Tiger Bolo has played fantastic. But all it takes is two turnovers, and then all of a sudden, momentum swings, and Alabama, this Alabama team's in a different place they've been, than they've been at any point this year. Nobody look. Nobody thought Clemson was going to lose last year to Syracuse. So it just crazy stuff happens in college football. It's part of the game, and that's what make it, makes it fun. Well, Bruce, we appreciate the return to BYU Sports Nation. Uh, we'll watch you on the sidelines tomorrow on Fox, 830 Eastern, for BYU and Washington. We appreciate the time. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.